Hi, Serge Gibonin here. Welcome to my new video series about Maximo tips and tricks. So let's start with the first trick, how to get my PM on critical asset. So let's go into preventive maintenance. And if I go here, when I check, I have my, I can find my uh, equipment by location or asset, but the priority here is, is going to be the, uh, the work order priority that will be generated by that PM. So I'm not going to be able to find my critical asset from here. And even if I go in advanced search, uh, it's going to be the same thing. I'm not going to find any field here that are uh, the equipment uh, criticality or the equipment priority in Maximo. So I'm going to create a where clause and use some SQL code to find what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for the asset num that are in, and I'm gonna create a subquery to search for the uh, the critical asset. So I'm gonna select this equipment, uh, the asset num from the asset table where the link between the two is gonna be site ID equal pm id and i want the asset priority to be equal to one and let's check if it's working and i got my pm on critical equipment so let's check if the equipment in here is really a critical equipment. And I got priority one here. So my query is working. So I'm gonna go back to uh, the query. Oop, turn, turn. So I'm back in the, uh, the query and I'm gonna save that query. So PM uh, critical, asset so this is my naming convention and it's going to be pm on critical asset and you can check to make it public i'm getting an error message here because that query already exists but you can save it so why not doing the same thing on the work order so if i go on work order tracking Again, I can search by asset and location, but the priority here is the work order uh, priority. And uh, same thing in advanced search, I'm not gonna find anything related to my uh, asset priority. So I'm gonna go create a where clause, but I'm gonna replace what's in here with a query I have prepared. So let's select my query. Oops, I'm gonna remove the uh, spell checker here so it's gonna be clear. So site ID equal Bedford. So this is the Bedford database, demo database from Maximo. So the query, don't, don't, don't worry, the query is gonna be at the bottom of, the, uh, of this video. So you're gonna be able to copy paste it and replace Bedford by your, uh, your site ID. And I'm looking for the woe class, which is work order, uh, because I don't want to get activity or other things that exist uh, uh, that are using the uh, this module. History flag is going to be zero. Is task zero? So I don't want the the uh, the history. I don't want the task. I just want the work order that are, and again my subquery, which is going to be very similar to the one in uh, that we did for the PM. Asset num from the asset table where the side ID is going to be equal to work order side ID and asset priority equal one. So let's check that this is working. Yep. So I'm getting my work order on critical asset. And let's go again, verify if those equipment are really uh, critical. So I'm going to 
choose this. Uh, it looked like an electrical equipment, so it's probably critical. And yes, the priority is one. So that, that query is working. Let's go back to the, uh, the query. And I'm going to save, oops, not in the query yet. So, and save that query. So work order, asset, asset. work order on the critical asset. And you can make public or not. Well, I can save this. And then, it, all right, so this is working fine. So don't worry, you get the SQL code at the, uh, the bottom of the page that you can use and don't forget to replace your, uh, your site site ID. So see you in the next video.